Got a PC that still says it can't run Windows 11, no TPM, no secure boot, no problem. In this video, I'll walk you through another alternative method to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware using Rufus, a powerful and free tool that bypasses the current Windows 11 hardware restrictions. So let's get to it. First, let's go download the official Windows 11 ISO file from Microsoft's website. We'll toss you a download link in the video description. Scroll down to the Download Windows 11 Disk Image section, select the Windows 11 Multi Edition for X64 devices, and click Download Now. Now select your desired product language. I'll choose English United States since I'm in the US, but you can choose your desired region and language. Once selected, click Confirm. Lastly, click 64-bit download to kick off the download of your Windows 11 ISO file. Depending on your internet speed, this may take just a few minutes or much longer due to the file size. Next, let's go grab the star of the show, Rufus. It's a tiny tool that does big things, like helping to create bootable USB drives with features like bypassing some of Windows 11's install hardware requirements. Head on over to their official website, or you can use the download link we put in the video description. Once you're at the Rufus site, scroll down to the download section and choose the latest release of Rufus. I'll select the standard download, but you're welcome to select the portable version if desired. If you need a 32-bit version, for some reason, they have it as well. Super small download, so it should be ready in seconds. Quick tip, if you don't have a recent backup of your important data, I'd suggest making a proper backup before proceeding to the next steps. If you need help with this, we have several videos on making Windows system backups. Check them out. Now, if you're comfortable with your backup situation, let's plug in your USB flash drive, at least an eight gigabyte drive, so we can create the bootable Windows 11 ISO. Let's launch Rufus, select your USB under device, if it doesn't automatically select it, and then select the Windows 11 ISO you downloaded earlier. Now you can select your partition scheme. If your PC is super old, it may be best to start by selecting MBR, otherwise go with GPT. This test PC is 13 years old with MBR drive, so I'll go with MBR for this instance. Click Start, and this is where Rufus shines. When you start the process, you'll see a customization window pop up. Make sure to check the desired bypass options and then hit OK. Now the bootable ISO file is ready to roll with a Windows 11 install or upgrade. Next, you have a few options here. You can restart your PC and enter the boot menu at startup to select your newly bootable USB drive. You'll do this by hitting your PC brand's boot menu key at startup. This key varies, F2, F10, F12, or the delete key usually works. Select your USB drive to boot and the Windows 11 setup should launch without any compatibility errors or you can run an in-place upgrade without rebooting. For this video, we'll go the upgrade route on our lab PC. I'll just navigate to the flash drive and double click on the setup.exe file to start the upgrade process. Click next. Agree to the terms and conditions. You may or may not get this Microsoft alert stating that your PC doesn't meet its install requirements and that if you continue, your PC may experience compatibility issues or that it may or may not receive updates in the future. As long as you understand this, click accept and keep it rolling by clicking install.
halfway there. And that's it, Windows 11 in all its debatable glory. At this point, you may want to go let Windows updates check for any driver updates or available security updates. Other than that, go test out Windows 11. I hope you enjoyed this video on using Rufus to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Please hit that like button if this video helped you and consider subscribing to the channel for more tech tips. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and bye bye everybody.